What up, people? It's Jason here from Custom Cans, and uh, I got a nice delivery this morning. It's always nice when you get free stuff. Ugh. Hold on, let's get this open. <laughs> Unleash your rage attack! Boxes within boxes, yo. Let's get this one up. And what do we have in this box? Another box! <laughs> Ooh! Yeah, Hi-Fi Man do package their headphones well. It's always, you know, polystyrene and then an outer box and then an inner box. Oh! Time! We have some Sundara closed backs. These are exciting, because uh, we, as you know, everyone loves the Sundaras. And uh, we had them apart here, we had a look at them, and quite a lot of people in the comments said, Oh, could you do a closed back version? And I just, I've just got too many other projects on <laughs> at the moment. So it's not something I had a chance to have a look at. But Hi-Fi Man have done it. They've done it themselves. They've made a closed back version of the Sundaras. And I have a pair of open Sundaras here. So what I was thinking was we've got three Sundara closed, which Hi-Fi Man sent us to have a play with. So I'm going to do a few videos. This is part one. We're going to have them apart, have a look inside, see how they compare to these. I'm going to have a listen. We'll take some frequency response. What's it? I wouldn't usually do this because uh, I'm lazy and I don't like reshoots, but I think I'm going to have to reshoot this intro because this turned out to be a lot more interesting than I thought it was going to be. In some ways, I suspected that they just basically got some Sundaras, stuck a bit of wood on the back, stuck a bit of foam inside the wood. Jobs are good and get them out the door. But no, turns out that these are very different headphones with a lot of engineering that's gone into it so this is much more interesting than I thought it was going to be and there's a lot going on inside there so over to past Jason they've given us a couple of pairs so we're going to do something a bit special and this will be the first video where we just pull them apart compare them I can do another video where we're going to customize a pair so we're going to some light modifications some customization we're going to fit them with one of our really fancy cables and we're going to give those away so that'll be a really good good thing to kind of sign up for so if you get subscribed you'll you'll see that that should be up in the next couple of weeks and then we're also doing another pair where we're going to work with Suarez Modern Art and they create beautiful modern artworks and uh, normally they work on a massive scale but I got in contact with Ed Ed there said do you reckon you could do something this kind of size we, we're planning on raffling it off for charity and he's like yeah yeah I want to get involved so that's gonna be really exciting we'll have a trip down to his art studio we'll paint a set of these and then we're gonna raffle that off for a local music charity so we might go and visit them and see what they do and uh, yeah so it really gives us a really good chance to have a play with these do a bit of good and, uh, and also get you guys a free pair of them so without further ado let's get these apart and uh, and have a look inside. So, closed back, stealth magnet, super nano diaphragm. It doesn't say that on that. Ooh. 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 Let's have a look. Right. So, Ooh. nice packaging. So, you've got a um, foam cutout here with Hi Fi Man on. These do look a bit nicer in real life than they do in the pictures. I don't know whether it's, uh, yeah, they've got quite a nice finish on the wood. Let's see what cables these come with. Yeah, so pretty standard kind of Hi-Fi Man right angle cable. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and get one of our cables so I can run it balanced off the amp and I want to compare the closed back with the open back version. All right, cool. All right, let's get the open backs out as well. So obviously, Bit girthier because you've got the got the wood. Just gonna have a quick listen, see if I can hear the difference. Well, that was quite interesting. Having that, they do sound they do sound different. Uh, the closed back ones are definitely warmer, which is kind of what you'd expect. You tend to get a bit more bass having the sound bounce back back through. Obviously, these the open ones sound a bit more open and airy, uh, a little bit brighter. Yeah, there's like very accurate bass on these because I haven't really heard a closed back plane on. I was I had no idea what they sound like, but yeah, you get good, good crisp, accurate bass. The mids are probably a little bit more forwards on this. I feel you know. Have a, have a look at someone else's review for a, for a proper breakdown of the sound. But yeah, it was just very interesting having a listen. I still think I prefer the sound of the open ones, but there's definitely situations where closed back is, you know, you've got to have it because you can't be on a train or out and about walking around with an open back pair of headphones because it lets in too much external noise and it lets out too much external, yeah, external noise. I, I've been sat on a train next to someone with some open backs and, you know, you can hear exactly what they're listening to. So, yes, let us have a look inside. See what Ting Up Guan. So they've got this basically the same headband. I don't know if you can see this, but it says Sundara on that one. It says Hi-Fi Man on that one. 
Oh. Oh. Oh, that's very different in there. Oh. Yeah. No, that's the. Oh. Yeah, some definite tuning's been going on here. All right, give me a moment. I'm going to go and get a, some pliers and we'll get these apart properly. All right, yeah. No, this is this is interesting because um, this is exactly why I didn't want to do it because <laughs> I suspected it wouldn't just be a case of slapping a thing on the back. You'd have to do a lot of tuning and messing around. It looks like they've had to do a lot of work to get this right. Yeah, because I, I I wondered, have they just stuck a bit of wood on the back of a pair of sundaras? Is that is that it? But no, because if that was it, I would have been very depressed because I should have... Uh, should have just done it. <laughs> but no, no, it looks like they've had to do a lot more lot more work to get the tonal balance and that kind of stuff, get the sound right with the with the with the closed back. So yes, this is very interesting. I'm hoping to learn some stuff from this. Just undoing the little knurled screws on the side and then we can get into this bad boy. Cool. Right, so here's the Sundara driver and here's the Sundara closed. So you can see obviously yes, much more open area. Uh, these ones are single-sided magnets, so they've got magnets on the back side and it's open at the front side with just this star to kind of retain it all. Whereas this has got a, a whole lot going on. So you can see they've got like a foam around the outside. And inside there's a star pattern cut into the into some foam. Yeah, this is exactly, in my mind, this is kind of exactly what I was planning on doing with the inside of the cup. It's cutting kind of a star pattern to soak up some of that sound. So it looks like we've got quite a lot of screws in here. So uh, this has got an L written on it, so I'm suspecting that the left and right are not symmetrical. be interesting to see what isn't symmetrical. Okay, so it looks like we've got a load of screws around the outside which are probably going to hold the back on. This does also mean, uh, I was uh, I was half hoping it was just a bit of wood stuck on the back of some Sundaras because I was thinking, oh, a couple of magnets in there and you can pull that off and you can go from closed back to open back pretty easily. But no, as, as I suspected, takes a bit more bit more tuning to get a clothes back. But it does look like it's got a different driver as well. Are we in? Oh, I've missed a screw. Okay. Ooh. 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 <laughs> yeah. Totally different driver in there. Let me just move these screws out of the way so that I don't accidentally suck them into the magnets on the on the back of the driver. Yes, so there we go. Original Sundara driver and Sundara closed driver. It's very interesting, the construction here. So you can see you've got different magnets in the center there. Um, hold on. Do I have something magnetic? I have a screwdriver. Ooh. Oh, oh. So in the center, you've got neodymium magnets and these much weaker magnets on the outside. So, ooh. so yeah, so those ones in the center there. Yeah, so these ones don't have very much magnetic flux at all. It's like a tiny bit. Very weak magnets there. And then very strong magnets in the middle. So that's quite a that's quite an interesting thing. And you can see here, this is all put together with little nuts and bolts. Ah, oh, cute little nuts on there, look. So these must take quite a lot of work to construct. Inside you've got uh, different socket than you've got on the HE400 certainly so a slightly nicer socket in there you've got a bit of damping material to absorb some of the sound bouncing off there and coming back through but yeah there's some exciting stuff going on the other side so I think I'm gonna have to pull this this driver out all right so I think we've got four screws and nuts that we've got to undo different screw size oh, so cute these little nuts <laughs> all right. Let's get that out. Oh, they've been really clever here. Hold on. Yes. Yeah, they've used, I think they've used non-magnetic nuts. So when they're building it, there's no chance of the nuts disappearing off into the driver because those magnets are really powerful. So look, I've got a, got a magnet here somewhere. Yeah, so the bolts, so the nuts, ah, everything else sticks to this, but the actual nuts are non-magnetic. Clever, clever idea. Yes. <laughs> Gonna remember that one. That's a that's a good one. So yeah, using non-magnetic fasteners. So because yeah, because obviously when you when you're building this, you've got these big new magnets, these little tiny nuts. If that shoots in there, 
because also this diaphragm is very, very thin and fragile. Um, trying to retrieve that nut, there's a good chance of knackering something. Oh yeah, this is more exciting inside than I thought it was going to be. I thought it would just be another pair of Sundaras, but no, this has got, got some stuff going on. So if any of you are Hi-Fi Man aficionados and you know which driver this is, let me know. That'd be quite interesting. Stick it in the comments down below. Uh, I've been playing around with adding Neo magnets to a pair of HE400s and got some real interesting results, which I'll have to go through at some point as well. Yeah, increasing that magnetic flux is uh, is a good thing. So yeah, so as you can... Oh, what have we got? Sorry. Just, just let's just get this out. What's going on? Okay, so we've got the face plate off there. So that is some kind of some kind of plastic. It doesn't have any markings on it, so I don't know. And the housing is plastic, and then the back end is obviously machined from wood. So this is all stuck on. Yeah, this is all held on with double-sided tape. <laughs> okay, all right, so we can see what's going on here. So, so yeah, so the Neo magnets are just on the back and then you've got standard ones on the front. I don't know, these don't, there's like so, are these even, I don't know, they're magnets. There's like very little magnetic flux here. It's very strange. Could be that the that these ones are in an opposite direction, so it's cancelling the other ones out. Uh, yeah, so you've got material like a felt kind of material, which has got a star cutting it in the centre, and then outside you've got this ring, also of um, of damping material, which will have yeah. So they must have messed around with that a lot, figuring out the tuning to try and get the tonal balance right. Because uh, yeah, if you've ever tried with a set of planers just sticking your cupping your hand over the the back, it sounds really weird. So they have had to do a lot of work here, and they've chosen a different driver. And it looks I don't know. Yeah, it's definitely not one from the HE four hundred or four hundred SE which I've played with. It's not from the Sundara. We've got a few other models coming in, and we'll have a look and see. What's going on there? But yes, yeah, an interesting design that I haven't seen before, where you're basically going to get a lot more power and torque out the middle. Uh, so most of the sound is going to be coming from the middle of this driver, and I suppose that makes sense considering you've got a hole that's just just in the centre there, and then with the weaker magnets down the side, uh, yeah, you're not going to get get as much. But yes, yeah, those those magnets seem very weak. Just uh... oh no. No, it could just be that my screwdriver is not very, not very magnetic. It, yeah, it feels about the same as the ones in the HE400. So, so yeah, so the main magnets are about the same as the HE400 SE, same kind of stickiness. But those, oh, those central ones, those Neo bar magnets, they're they're pretty serious. So there you go. That's the that's the difference. That's what's inside some HE400 SEs. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish taking these apart and then I'm going to take them over to our other workshop where we do all the customization and we're going to do something a bit classy and tasteful with them um, we, so we're going to give them a, a new look we're going to fit them up with one of our fancy cables and we're going to give those away to one of our subscribers yeah so if you fancy a totally one-off pair of these check out our next videos because we're doing two more videos on these and we're going to be giving away a pair of the uh, well we're going to be giving away a pair of these and we're going to also be auctioning one off for charity um, very good musical course, so worth worth getting on board for that. There will be rules. There'll be rules. <laughs> so listen to the rules to enter the competition. You know how it is. But yeah, I'm quite excited. I've got a really good idea for something that I, I, that, that we can do for these. I'm, I'm, they're gonna look. They're gonna look pucker. Um, yeah, but yeah. Also, it'd be really interesting if you've got any experience with these. If you've tried both these headphones, uh, let me know what you think. It's very difficult for me because it's a bit like choosing between your children. Every Every headphone's got its own little, you know, it's got its good points and its bad points. And open back are definitely not great in some situations. And so, yeah, closed back is a really good option on some planners. And I, you know, th there's not many closed back ones out there. So it'd be really interesting to to hear your feedback if you've listened to these, if you've listened to some other other closed back ones. What what you reckon? But anyway, um, 
very interesting, super awesome hanging out, and I will see you in the next video where we'll be giving these away. Loving your work. So James. I really can't hear. <laughs> ah, isolation is good. Uh, so uh, which, one, which one are you taking home? Still the Sundaras. Still the Sundaras, yeah. Um, I can't really put my finger on it. They're just sort of more precise and more easy to listen to. I'm not video recording this, are you? It sound, the, the sound in, from this sounds muddy. Like it doesn't sound clear compared to this, but I don't know if that's just because it's reverberating off the ear cup. Yeah. Yeah, so. no, I, I, I know what you mean. They're, they're, they're not there. Yeah, they don't, definitely don't sound as clean and crisp as the, as the original ones. But I wonder if that's just because they're closed back. Well, that's it. You're going to make some sacrifices yeah. going so, closed. That is, like, they that are is... more bassy. You can hear that they've got more bass to them, which will please a lot of people. I think, but because I've been listening to these for a while, the, the normal ones, yeah, like, I guess it depends on the kind of music you listen to as well, so, because my music that I listen to is more bass heavy, the music will sound better in terms of bass listening to these, but the clarity's kind of lost a little bit, yeah. so like some of the details yeah. not there, but... Thank you very much for your feedback, mate.